everybody. Welcome to another episode of the Scorpios Builder Blog. You may recognize me as the insane person who decided to go weapon to weapon with Tombstone not once, but twice in the same fight. That's right. I am Diana. I am the weapon operator. So today we are going to go through some weapon upgrades that we are going to do for season six. We are making a brand new, much bigger blade for more pokey power. So that means our motor has to be bigger to compensate for that. And our awesome sponsors have sent us some really cool stuff for us to test to try to get that oomph. We have the brand new XLX2 from Castle, and we are gonna pair that up with a Scorpion motor. Let's see if this is the magic we're hoping it will be. Let's go check it out. is what we call an outrunner motor. What that means is if you try to grab this output shaft and twist it on its own, it doesn't turn. Because you mount this whole part of the motor to the robot and this part, the housing turns. So we just finished putting some new adapter leads onto our lovely Scorpion motor. So now hey, are you done with my mount yet? Are you done with my mount yet? I want a bench test. Are you done with my mount yet? Patience. So here you see a side-by-side -side comparison of our two blade designs. The blade on the, re on the left side of the screen is the blade design we were using through season four and season five. Though it was a very successful blade, it has done us well, there is room for growth. And so our teammate Ben designed this lovely beauty which is two pounds heavier and has a larger diameter Are you done with my mount yet hey zach are you done with my mount yet no what about now i now? need 10 more minutes puny humans i demand you like and subscribe no you need more allowance i need more allowance you would lay he who how about my mount are you done yet i'm not <laughs> done <laughs> hi so for some reason i came over here and zach was gone so uh here i am screwing the mount onto the motor hey diana are you done with your motor mount hey diana are you done with your motor mount I bet Diana really wants to test that motor. Hopefully she's done with the motor mount soon. So we have our all of our toys put together. We have our radio. We have our fire extinguishers on either side of the bench in case stuff goes hecka wrong. We have our radio that's turned on. We have our battery. We have our receiver. We have our pretty new XLX2. Thank you, Castle. We have our pretty new Scorpion motor. Thank you, Scorpion. We are gonna do our very first spin-up test with these guys. So, a negative and positive and positive are going together. We got all of the good noises. I'm gonna take a seat. Three, two, one, go. This is full power! Oh, heck. That is spicy. That is really smooth and balanced. So here we have our nice reflective tape that we're going to put on our motor. And here we have a tachometer. A tachometer measures RPM, or revolutions per minute, which is how we determine the speed of the motor. So here we go. So we have our motor, we have our radio, we have our tachometer. Let's see what kind of power this thing puts out. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> And this is full power. So the 
final readout of this spin-up test was 10,000 RPM. That's over 9,000! So, big shout out and thank you to Castle and Scorpion for giving us more power to our weapon engine. And we are going to actually go over to our sponsor, Taskbot, because the ESC has a censored system. So we're gonna see what Alan can do to put a sensor in our weapon system. I want Zach to use bouncy balls against Hydra too. He just doesn't think it'd be a good idea. He assumes that the bouncy balls will pop. I believe with enough air, put into the bouncy balls, we will bounce and then that will help save our motors. Oh, hi guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that if you wanna see more of me, Commander Snips, Scorpios, please like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow and Commander Snips says so, so you must. It is a must. Bye Zs.